backslash and the sound of children playing in the school playground used to be a reassuring sign of hope for the mountain village of Champorcher in Aosta Valley, Italy. But this September, the school fell eerily silent and was forced to close when the lack of enrollment left only two students. This story is being repeated across Italy as the combination of low fertility rates, relentless aging of the population, and lack of childcare support has left Italy with a dramatic decline in students and in classrooms which, some experts fear, could mean the death of many Italian villages. The problem has been building for some time as the birth rate has been steadily decreasing since the 2008 financial crisis. Italian women have an average of 1.24 children, amongst the lowest in the EU. In the last decade, there have been 456,408 less enrollments in the infant schools of Italy and, if the current rate continues, 1.4 million fewer students aged 3 to 18 by 2034. This situation has been made worse by economic issues and unsteady jobs with many women who become pregnant forced to resign or even get sacked. To make matters worse, Italy's population is rapidly aging, leaving many fewer women of reproductive age and little in the way of government finances. In response to this, the current Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni has promised to take action to counteract the decrease in Italy's birth rate. She has promised to focus on investing in female labor and childcare support to ensure a safe, secure future for any children born or yet to be born in the country. Previous governments have taken similar steps to incentivize having children, from monthly payments of 50 to 175 euros to reducing income tax. So far, none of the incentives have been enough to get people started on families, and there are ethical issues should they decide to base a solution on immigration. However, while the Italian government sorts out a plan of attack, regional authorities are taking matters into their own hands. In Aosta Valley, the government is trying to keep schools open even if there are only three pupils in order to preserve their villages. It remains to be seen whether their attempts are enough to stop the 